welcome back. I hope y'all enjoyed the last pick a card and this is the new pick a card. So um, we got two selections, East and West. Here are your cards. I hope y'all have been doing good. Wishing y'all happy, energy, positive vibes. So we have East and West. West will be group one, East will be group two. Alrighty. Group one, thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you so much. first card we have is the uh, six of wands and the eight of cups what else spirit what else is coming out thank you so much the eight of wands the king of Pentacles the king of cups the Hierophant Page of Cups and the Queen of Cups. So right away there is a divine match on here. Right away there is a divine match, um, which is really good. Let me like push this back a little bit so y'all can see the cards a little bit. There. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and get a few oracles and I will try not to look at them. So they will be a surprise to you and me both. We'll do a garden dragon as well. Thank you so much, Spirit. And we'll do one of these. Thank you, Spirit. do this one too. I'm not looking at it, so I don't know. <laughs> Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and get with the reading. Group one, I just want to say thank you for being a Patreon. Thank you for supporting me, and I love y'all so much. And... Let's go ahead. So the first card that we have here is the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is a victory. Six of Wands is achievement, celebration, power, positivity, saying that you won the war, that you're coming after your prize and that you're gonna get exactly what you need and deserve. And that energy is coming into play because you also have this Eight of Cup energy which says that you had to walk away from something you didn't want to. You had to leave something that you were building. And it was extremely, extremely painful. It's almost like to that point you had to release, complete control, give it up, throw it back to the universe, say, whatever is meant for me, spirit. But ever since like that energy has taken place within your life, you go into an Eight of Wands, which is about incoming messages, text, call, emails, good news, unexpected news that's positive. And what could that possibly even be? We go into straight into the King of Pentacles, which is about success. It's about finances. It's about money. It's about security, growth, endurance, hard work, effort happiness and the king of Pentacles is you know Pentacles is earth element energy so it's Capricorn Taurus and Virgo which is really about building anew building again so what it seems like to me is whatever you left you go into immediate celebration to rebuild and what you build in this this experience is going to be like 10 times bigger than what you left 
10 times bigger than what you experienced with your pain. Your blessings that's also coming in is we have the King of Cups. Emotional security, emotional intelligence, somebody who is worthy, honest, somebody who is outspoken, kind, empathetic, somebody who can be seen as a caretaker or somebody who is understanding their emotions and they know how to relate them. They know how to talk about them. And we also have the Hierophant, which is about a teacher. It's about coming together, understanding the truth. It's also about a new road, a new path and compromise between the two students and the teacher. This card can even denote like um, marriage counseling, working on things. Um, this card can denote maybe college that you're studying, that you're trying to grow and expand your knowledge. We also have the Page of Cups, which is about imagination and being hopeful about romance and being hopeful about love, being hopeful about your connections. The Page of Cups is also my apology card. So um, maybe there's an apology coming in. And we also have the Queen of Cups, which is that match. We have the King and the Queen. So it's divine love. It's a true match in things, a true companion. Somebody who is worthy, somebody who is, you know, that sees your true potential, that sees you, that sees your spirit, that sees the gifts that you have within your heart. Now, for a select few of y'all, um, take it only if it resonates. I could see this as you walking away from a situation and somebody says no. So they come in with apologies and offers and say, I'm going to change. I want to work on my stuff. I'm going to help the situation. I could also see this as a, a moment of employment to where you're not really happy in your employment, in your career, and you leave and your employer is like, no, we're going to give you a raise if you stay. Basically saying that your worth will be seen. Your worth will be relayed with words. People will start complimenting you more. People's going to start looking at you. And you hear the cat meowing, confirmation, <laughs> confirmation. <laughs> and that there's so much beauty and brilliance that you have within you. Know your worth. Now, I haven't seen these. We have the moon for your emotional well-being, but also the nurturing side. This could talk about the home. This could talk about maybe you wanting to work on something new. Maybe this is about um, taking the, the scenic route. It's not always the fastest, but it will really show you a different side of things. And I feel with that moon, it's about the illumination of the darkness, the illumination of the hidden stuff. This could even be talking about somebody opening their emotions or somebody just laying down and just saying, this is how it is. This is how I feel. Can we do this? Can we work on this? Can we be a partner or a teammate? We also have the opinion, squash dragon. And this card can really say that you don't need to worry about other people's judgments about your life. <laughs> you don't need to worry about other people's judgments. Just focus on you. Make your life a priority, not what other people think or feel about your situation. We also have astrological transits favor you at this time, which can say that that Pluto going into Aquarius is going to be something very big for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Something transformative. We also have the card of denial, which can say you have the option to deny anything. It's your life. You have the option to deny this reading. You have the option to deny a person if they try to come back with apologies. That is trying to, I don't know, persuade you to come back. Persuade you to work on things with them. You don't have to. It's your life, it's your choice, it's your rules. And with the card that you did pick, number one for the West, the card says completion, which is 
the ending of a cycle. It's done. Something's done. But when there is an ending to a cycle, a new one begins. When that door closes, another one opens. So you have a very, you know, the path that I see. You can continue going on your route or you can do the scenic one. Maybe that scenic one has more healing, more authenticity in it, more grounding. And maybe it's more spiritual. The animal that I picked for you today is the humpback whale for singer. Sing healing songs for the world. Your inner navigation always guides you. Nothing can stop you or keep you from your goal and align with your purpose and the power in your soul. I'm going to read that one card for you as well. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. And this card is called the Andean Cross. It's number two. The Andean Cross announces the start of a great journey. It's time to raise your gaze from the mundane day to day to that which until now has seemed beyond your grasp. Allow new wisdom to guide you and stop trying to make sense of it all before you respond with a yes. The time has passed and a window of opportunity may have closed. Now is not the moment to take that leap that you've been over preparing for. It's best to wait until the conditions in heaven line up again to offer you a more propitious moment. Any bold action you take now will require tremendous effort on your part. Just as important as knowing when to act is knowing when to return to your inner stillness and wait for more favorable times. It talks about wisdom and breaking free of conditions, which is a very powerful message. So you choose how you feel about that you don't have to take this message if it don't resonate and thank you so much <coughs> excuse me my throat is scratchy i need some water hey grade two how are you doing if you chose east this is your card thank you so much spirit pick group two I just want to say whatever you're going through you will see completion you will see a complete turnaround um, there has been an inner battle with you right now an inner struggle about what to do with the situations that have been coming up in your life I'm gonna go ahead and pull some Oracle cards but I'm also going to uh, not look at them so when I see them, you will see them too for the first time. Thank you, Spirit.
Alrighty. Now I haven't looked at them and we'll look at them together. So the first card that I do have for you is the Eight of Swords. And the Eight of Swords is that card to where the girl is tied to the swords and she cannot see because she's blindfolded and she feels stuck. But if she could easily open her eyes to the truth and realize that they're just swords that she's tied to, she could easily escape. So I feel like this is a burden upon you. And I don't always feel like you are stuck in a situation, but what spirit is giving me, it's like there's a lot of stress on you. There's a lot of things that you are struggling with and you are not alone. You can easily talk about things as sword and tarot is communication. It stands for speaking your truth, knowing your wisdom and aligning those two things to help you see your future yourself. The next card that I have for you is the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups can really talk about feeling left out, feeling, you know, in despair, very nostalgic. Maybe you're reminiscing and missing out on older times or older memories. There for someone, you feel like you missed out on some years of your life. You feel like you missed out because you were doing responsible things. I never got to have that fun. I never got to do this because, you know, I have responsibilities. I kind of feel like that for a couple of y'all. But the Five of Cups is really saying that there's brighter days ahead. There's someone that surrounds you, the energy right now, that is going to help you. That is going to really show you the truth. We also have the Nine of Swords. And this card to me is about, you know, anxiety and depression, not being able to sleep, being stressed with bills, being stressed with, you know, drama or gossip, and being stressed because maybe right now in your life you could be going through seasonal depression. Maybe right now you could be going through so much. And Spirit is telling you right now, what is your priorities? What do you prioritize? What do you love? Do you have fun? What are your answers to those? Because right now, I feel like with the Knight of Wands in reverse, you're not happy with something. You don't feel that passion right now. You don't feel that burst of energy that you are aligning with your spirit, that you are on your soul mission or soul path, that maybe you could feel very alone romantically. Maybe you feel like whatever you're in now is also not passionate. It's not the romantic. It's not the situation that you were interested in. Maybe times have changed. People have changed. Something has changed and it has changed you. And it's almost like it was a wake up call. My ear just started ringing right when I said that. Wake up call. And this is also a moment for you to No, baby boy. Get down. The cat's like right here just trying to knock over everything that I'm doing right now. Um, but this really is a moment for you to wake up and realize that I can still have fun, that I can still have adventure, that, you know, I can build that passion, that fire, rekindle those, those little coals within me that can spark into something beautiful. Um, maybe, um, explore things, take a class, um, watch some YouTube videos, learn how to do a new hobby until something comes out or something is seen or something is felt. Sometimes happiness doesn't start with somebody else. It starts within you. The sense of adventure don't start in somebody else. It starts within you. They can be inspiration, but you also have to see that within you, within yourself. The next card that I have for you is the Page of Cups. 
which is also the card of apologies. It's the card of imagination. And I really kind of feel like this is you imagining when is somebody going to come in? When is this going to happen? When is my career going to take off? What's going on in my life right now? And you could feel like stagnant or stuck. You could also feel like there's not um, a lot of The cat is over there just going crazy right now. You could feel like, where did I go? Spirit, when is something good going to come in my life? When is this going to get better? You are not alone. I always say that, but I really want y'all to know that you are not alone. The next card that we go directly into is the tower in reverse, which means that you are holding on to something that is unfulfilling. You are holding on to something that is meant to let go. You are holding on to burdens of other people. You are holding on to the promise that someone's going to change. You're holding on to everything right now and it's over stressing you it's too much of a burden it's too heavy to carry you need to find your passions again you need to connect with friends again you need to connect to things that you resonate with to people and sometimes if something is meant to be demolished you cannot help it Stop carrying the weight of other people's burdens on your shoulders as well. We go immediately from the tower in reverse to the page of wands, which denotes new beginnings and passions and love and creativity. So as soon as you give this up and let it go, you go immediately into more happier times, more, um, more energy, heavy, positive energy. Because what's behind the Page of Wands? The Chariot. New directions, new beginnings, going for things, dreams, goals, new experiences, finding someone else that you can resonate with, partnership. The card that I picked, or the card that you picked, was East for beginning. Let's look at your cards. The sun for happiness, independence, creativity, expression, confidence, power. The first house, self-love, self-worth, self-care. Know your worth. Know what you deserve. Know that you are beautiful, you're worthy, you are capable of attracting everything that you need into your life right now. It could talk about maybe you're going through a massive change. With this change comes a glow up. Awakenings. We also have obedience, which is balance and harmony. There was a fire truck that went by. Um, maybe that's your call. Maybe that was a message from spirit. Ring the alarm. You're going after that fire. That's what it was. You're going after that fire. You're going after those passions. You're going after. Whoa. If you felt that, you felt that too. I was like, there's a meaning. Obedience, but this card is really about positive karma. This card is about balance and truth. This card is about you. We got realignment, the cantaloupe dragon. These are so adorable. Your animal is the horse for freedom. 
He says, your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose is calling you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You will follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. Heavy Sagittarius energy. Leo energy, but don't gotta be. And your last and final card, I will read from the book. And it's the Mystical Shaman. 38. When the mystical shaman appears, you're invited to consider the ability to live without attachments. You are called to create and dream your life, to act on inspiration and divine impulse without fixating on the known story of success or achievement. Can you impartially observe the stories you tell yourself and others? What if you could become a mystery to yourself? Who would you become if you stopped telling the tales that has defined you up till now? You do not have to live a story that has roots in the past. What if there was no need to explain to you, explain you to anyone, not even to yourself? The way to your most extraordinary life is to become a blank slate and allow form, the form of your dreams and desires to show up at its will. This is a sign of manifesting a life beyond your wildest dreams. More sirens. <laughs> and if you resonate with this, I love y'all. Thank you so much. And I hope that you enjoyed this. Bye.